I'm backstage at La Zona Rosa with Pete Townsend and Rachel Fuller. They've just finished the Attic Jam. Tell us a little bit about In the Attic and how this all got started. In the Attic started as a music chat show. When The Who toured Europe, um, I wanted to go with Pete, but I wanted to work. So we got this big silver Airstream. (laughs) (laughs) So I took this big caravan out on the road. We took a guy with a satellite link up. And every time we did a show, it went out live on the internet. And we did them before The Who show. And during, we we, we managed to fly in two or three... Um, who numbers from each live set as part of the webcast as well and um, and that went down with everybody associated with the Who except Roger Daltrey who found the whole thing very confusing. <laughs> yeah. How do you go about inviting the guests and curating the, the different acts um, along the way? We just grab them as they We just grab them. I mean... Kind of fun because some of them were people that that I didn't know much about and was charmed, mm-hmm. completely charmed by them. It sounded like Prince Charles, so they were charming young people. <laughs> they, they were charming. absolutely charming. They weren't, they weren't scruffy or dirty or smelly no, well, at actually, all. Actually, that's they not true. Nice Some of them were a bit fellows. scruffy, but they all yeah. had really good manners. I remember talking to the kooks and telling them you know, how, how hard the industry was and telling them, you know, how brutal it was and telling them how little money they were going to make. And, and we will all end up like Britney. And they, <laughs> and they just, and they just didn't care. They, 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 they're on the road, they're having a good time, they like the people around them, they like each other, they share all the writing <coughs> parties. It's almost as though the one element that, and, and we, we I, I hit on this earlier on today, I was thinking, why is this? Why was it that when we started, we wanted to play music, we wanted music to be fun, we wanted to do it, we saw it as being quite brief. Why did we want to be rich? Why did we want to make loads of money? It's because you could. We're, we're an online web show, and I just wanted to get your thoughts about, um, you know, what you think because this whole like web video shows and things and instead of being on TV but being on the web um, is like really exploding right now and I wanted to get your thoughts on you know just so excited that you know that you guys can come in here with a small camera and you, you, you know and, and do stuff I'm so excited that in our studio we can rent a bit of bandwidth it doesn't cost a huge amount of money and put out live TV I'm so excited that people can can have a blog thing and take photos and tell stories and and everyone it's around all, the world can I see think it. It's yeah. so exciting. My you're world. you're like my you are really like my kindred spirit here. <laughs> yeah, I have real words of wisdom to share with the world. <laughs> like if you eat too many pies and you get a bit big around the middle, just just get your cleavage out. No one gives a f- about what's going on. It's, around the middle. it's so true. I'm the all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for you sharing your time with us, and uh, we'll check out in the, ah, in the attic. We you. totally think AOL Spinner kicks big fat rock ass. <laughs> KWOS FM, they are the greatest rock radio station in Nassau. <laughs> <laughs> that was my day, you know. Yeah. <laughs> We really rock. I'm with the uh, WKWP QWQRQ, the, the, the uh, rock nation on the station of the ration. Uh, here we are.